Okay. Dang, this is militant for real. Peace of the family. Peace to the family. Come on, boo. Make sure you press those numbers so I know you up in the building. I'm waiting for her to get in here. There she go. <laughs> what the hell? I just pressed it. <clears throat> Why is it not working? Go live. Go live. She's unable to join. Man, that's weird. Press a request. It's saying you are unable to join. Yeah. Oh, no, nah. it's brother underscore P O L I G H T. Yo, it's not working. It's saying, let me see if I can get somebody else in here. Yeah, somebody else. It, I was able to do it with somebody else just now. It's saying that your Instagram is not allowing it. Yeah, this is crazy. Yes, word up. This is wild. We got to find a way to make this work. I'm pressing it over and over. It's not working out. Damn. This was about to be the show of the year right now. What's up? All right, y'all. We're going to keep building. We're going to figure this out. See if you can send me a request. She's in the chat. I know. It's definitely annoying. Yeah, you know. Just had to go militant on her. No, I don't play no games, man. I don't play no games. These cats just talk that talk. See, I'm vegan, but I be on my aggressive grind. You got to be an aggressive vegan out here. They be trying to, they be playing. They be thinking we playing. I ain't got no time to play with these people. I be like, bitch, nigga, come on. You want to play? Come on. Yeah. Hey, who want to build? <clears throat> we going to keep this going? Hopefully it works out. I'm waiting for her to give a request. I see several requests right here. Let me see if I can get her. Oh, it says waiting for. Might work now. Hey. We got it. What's up? Hey. You know what's crazy? Is I was trying to do this shit on my iPad, and it wasn't working. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and try the phone and see if it worked. And here we are. So it hey. is the phone. <laughs> hey, I was, I'm sorry for being so late. I was on a Instagram. I was on a YouTube live stream right and right. i'm telling these people listen i got somewhere i'm supposed to be there's a beautiful woman waiting on me the nerve of fucking me got her waiting and i'm doing this craziness with you guys hating on me i'm i'm on a live with people want to hate on me and i'm like okay i'm gonna give you a few more minutes to hate and they're like nah give us 10 more minutes to hate i'm like right, yo right, listen, right. Man, I, enough is enough i gotta oh, get up out of here enough I is know. enough Word. You got a lot so of hate that. mail, yo. I get it. You get a lot of hate mail in my inbox, so I know <laughs> yours look crazy. <laughs> I know your shit look crazy. It be crazy. I mean, there's always way more love than the hate, but then when the people hate, they be writing the longest paragraphs. They cut and paste it three, four, five times. It just be like, damn, you just really want everyone to feel how you feel, but obviously it ain't like that. That's why you're working so hard. But hey, exactly. and you know, people tell me now, yo, they still on it. Because basically, we had a conversation. Jay, yeah, <laughs> my brother, man. That's the man. He's a genius. I always say that. But anyway, yeah, I got to get into my man, Jay, man. Black Card Bandits. He's he's a genius. Right? And, and what we Jay. do. Peace to Jay. Word. 
My Colombians. Look at the Colombian. Hey, bienvenido. <laughs> right, but um, so what happened is just to tell you how what was going on in my world, and, to, and then we'll segue into what's going on in this world with the men should be paying for all the bills. That's going to be a great conversation right there. So I just came out of a situation where, you know, these good, these are good people at some point in their lives. I don't know about tonight, but these are good people. And so they talk to you like they genuinely want to have a positive vibe. And then they attempt to set you up, ask you a question. Then when I answer the question, they go, oh, no, that's not, no, that's, well, I got a fact check. Okay, so since you got a fact check, but you ain't answered the question, bro. You just said you got to fact check my answer. Okay. Now, he, he calls big sister on the phone. She's supposed to be an engineer. She go, okay, so I want to know the answer to that question. But what we don't realize is now that I've answered that question, I just asked her a question. She ignores it. She says, I'm spinning around the topic. I'm like, I don't, how could I be spinning around a question? You're asking a question with a question. Hold on, miss. I'm not asking the question with a question. I answered the question, and now I'm asking the question. Right. And, then now, and then so I asked it again. It becomes a big thing. I'll answer it once you answer. Hold on. Let's slow down. Because when I ask, this is what it all goes down to. They ask me, there's a guy, we talking about viruses. This is where all the drama comes from. Yeah, we talking about the coronavirus and all this other <laughs> stuff. And I say, yo, fam, you don't got the right to speak on these things. None of you cats, because they talk to me, they talk about me like I'm dumb and everything. I normally don't talk to these people ever because it's always negative when I have to talk to these people. Mm -hmm. It's always negative. So I give it a break. I lift the embargo and I say, you know what? I'm going to talk to these people. Even though they always slick talking and saying something negative, I said, I'm going to talk to them today. I talked to four guys against me. It was four against one. It's always me against several people. It's never me one-on-one -on -one with somebody. It's me versus several people. Because, because everyone sees what I do one-on-one. -on -one. So now I'm taking them four at a time, three at a time, two at a time. This is what we're doing. So I, not, I bodied four people. I answered all their questions. And then when it was my turn to ask a question, I said, hey, what's a Golgi apparatus or endoplasmic reticulum? Boom, they didn't know. Fine. But they're telling me I ain't got no right to be talking about cells and viruses, but they got the right to tell me that what I'm saying is wrong or pseudo is incorrect. And I'm like, you don't even know what incorrect is because you, you don't even have no footing in the conversation. Okay, boom, let's go to some more. I say, okay, what's a virus? Mind you, one of these guys had a whole debate about the virus. He had to lead up and build up to the debate for four or five months. So he had to been studying this for four or five months. He couldn't break down the virus. Cool. So now he never got over that. So here it is chasing me again in a new week. Set, try to set me up. Hey, you know, um, what's a, how does a cell phone work? I'm like, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean, how does this phone work? So I, I sent him a text live and said, this is how it works. Boom. And then it's like, all right, polite, stop playing around. I said, I'm not sure what he's looking for. How does the cell phone work? So I said, okay, fine. I said, yo, transmit radio frequencies. Uh, I, the ion sphere is where the waves go for radio signals. And whatever else I said, boom. And as a matter of fact, I was getting cut off because I wanted to go in a little bit more about frequencies and frequency modulation and, and um, how that works, which is FM. I was getting cut off while I'm talking. He just talking over me. No, nah, no. Nah. Okay, I'm going to fact check that. I said, all right, my brother. I said, now, nah, boom. He said, but you never answered the question. I said, you just said you got to fact check it. How did I not answer a question you have to look up? Because that means you don't understand what I said to you. Next thing you know, he got someone secretly on the line. Ha! Huh! He did this last week, and I embarrassed that person. Aha! Uh -huh. So he put his sister on the phone. And she says something to me, and I go, well, hold on. Are you insinuating that if I can't tell you the exact way this phone transmits a message to maybe a satellite, a tower, and to another phone, uh, it, that means I don't know how to find out how this phone may possibly be affecting me based on radiation? Are we saying that? She didn't want to answer. She said, I'm skipping around. I said, good sister. I'm going to ask it again. It turned into chaos. Now, earlier on, when I was speaking, another brother came on and said, yo, 5G caused the coronavirus? I said, I didn't say it caused the coronavirus. I said it could have an impact on us. That's what it's, I speculate this. I believe this. I said, we're still studying this, but I believe we have the right to fear skepticism about the impact it has on human beings. And I have enough research to give me the right to that fear skepticism. 
So he gets mad and he's enforcing the idea that I said something I didn't say. I said, brother, I never said that. He starts yelling. He's cursing. He tells me I'm not really a crip. And all I say, yo, hold on. Why, why are we talking about that? He said a lot, but I heard that part. I'm like, why are we talking about crips? I'm like, you know, we some about biology. And mind you, everyone that called at that hour was supposed to do something for me. They were supposed to walk with me to help break down what a cell is and what viruses are, starting from scratch until we find our way into the virus in the chest. Because I can do that. So I have the right to speak on it. And so... He cursed me out, he's going crazy, he's talking about he's going to fight and all this other stuff. And I'm telling him, don't mistake me for the guy that you did, punk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, I have no idea why we getting violent about biology. I never met you in my life. I don't know you from square one. I'm telling you respectfully, I don't know why you keep saying I said something I didn't say. And if you believe I actually said it, what you need to do is pull up the clip, make sure I'm, I'm saying it, and then say, aha, I caught you. And if that don't work, which it ain't, then live with it. My brother, you're making a mistake. So anyway, that's my, that's my day, chaos. And this is why all them times, and I told Sonetta, I said, yo, I don't want to deal with this brother because he's a feminine. And I said this, and Sonetta made me talk to him on the line on three-way. And I said, brother, you're going to get emotional the day you and I ever talk. I see, I see your vibe, and I know me. And I know when I start doing what I do, I know how the brothers get because I'm great at what I do. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to push your buttons without calling you names or using vulgarity. I'm going to do it by teaching the information and getting the drop on you when you are in error. That's what, and that's fair. But these guys got so much built up hate in their chest. Yo, he called out if I got locked up, if I'm really a crip. I'm like, what does this have to do with cells and viruses? So that's the day. I just want to give you that so I can get it with my chest so I can move on to what we got to talk about because it was still in my brain. So thank you for listening to me, you know. Any time, was you already know. Yes. So now let's have this conversation. This conversation, you did a post yesterday and the question was, yeah. what was the question? The question was, let me, let me do it verbatim. Well, it was more of a statement, right? So it's from the shade room. Somebody decides to post it. I decide to repost it just to, I guess, see everybody's perspective. Um, I didn't say my perspective yet, as of yet. Um, but the question was, I'm sorry, but I don't believe a woman should be helping no man pay rent. And I'm going to put rent and then I'm going to put forward slash mortgage. Because people are like, oh, well, you should pay the mortgage, but you shouldn't pay the rent. What's the difference? It's still a roof over your head. You know what still I mean? Like, it's still rent. I don't live there. <laughs> Maybe I'm confused. Maybe you can enlighten me because I'm like, I mean, either way, you got to, you know what I mean? You have to have a place to lay your head, right? You, your, you may have children, you know, it may just be you and a dog or it may just be you and him. <laughs> But should women have to contribute equally? Is it supposed to be a 50-50 situation? Or is it supposed to be, you know, um, as a woman, I take care of the household. I take care of the kids. I take care. I may okay. take care of the utilities or, you know. So it, it varies. It depends on everybody's perspective is different. And I get that. Um, so I'm just trying to hear everybody's, you know, input. What's okay, your input okay. on it? All right. All right. Thanks for the family that's telling me good presentation. Uh, it, I, I do agree. It depends on the scenario. Uh, the, the type of man that I am, my, my, I got, I got, a, I got, my approach is this. This is how I like to deal with that situation. I believe a man should go into the relationship with the mindset to, to handle all the bills, take care of all of it. And if you can't, don't be in the woman's face. That's how I feel personally. I don't even want to be in a woman's face if I can't handle it all. While it's at the same time, the, my style of relationship is that woman also that I'm doing all this for, she got to allow me, if she doesn't know already, she got to allow me to teach her how to make this bread. Now, mind you, I'm not asking for her to pay anything. I need to teach her how to make this bread because any woman that I'm with, I don't want her to be with me only because she's economically dependent on me. I want to know that she can leave at any given moment because she can and economics has nothing to do with it. Finances have nothing to do with it. So it's going to be incumbent that I make sure if she don't have her own uh, resources, 
to the criteria that she deemed suffice to make her feel comfortable and also me. Like for me, I need to know that that woman has X amount of things for me to feel like I did my job as a man. She got to have her own businesses. She got to have her own steady income. She got to have several investments. She got to have nine different streams of income. She got to be able to have her own crib. She got, there's things that a woman that I'm with, I got to see with that she got. So for me, yeah, you know, on one level, yeah, pay for everything. That's cool. And if a man can do that at that level, that's that's pretty good. But I suggest, and this is my world, that, I'll, yeah, I'll do everything for you. But the reason why I'm doing every single thing for you is because I'm going to be teaching you how to do every single thing for yourself so you don't have to be for dependent yourself. on me. Because what if I get negative and shady and funny and then I, I use that against mm -hmm. you and now you're an economic slave. Now you time in and when you're going to leave. And that was my point. Yeah, I don't want you timing when you're going to leave. You should be able to leave whenever you want. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? And, and that's what gives me security. If under me, I need to be able to fall on my own two feet and make a move and do whatever, whatever it is that I need to do. Versus me sitting there like, okay, well, I know that I got to stay here, even though I could be possibly, you know, because there's a lot of situations. I had a lot of people that reached out to me. I would never name drop, you know, but they're like, you know, they're miserable in their situations. But guess what? The man's taking care of everything. The man covering everything. The man's making sure the kids, and well, because of my kids, I got to stay, you know, I, I don't really have no family. I gave up on my family and, oh, well, who dumbness is that? <laughs> like, you know, like, no offense. Like, I don't, I don't want to be rude and cold hearted or whatever the case may be. But I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's like I said, what works for everybody doesn't work for, what works for you may not work for you. And vice versa. So I guess that that's what it is that you have to find. But when I was looking at some of the and some of the stuff that I saw um, was crazy because a couple it was like a couple of my homegirls that were like, I'll never mess with a man unless he can pay the bills. I'm not helping no man pay no bills. I'm not doing X, Y, Z. But this man may break his leg or you may go mute. You know what I mean? So now what happens? You don't allow you and this man to get sat out. This man didn't roll for you. He didn't show you what to do. He didn't help you do X, Y, and Z. He didn't put you in position. So now because he fucked up, now you just gonna be like, oh. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. I don't. Yeah. I, I, I disagree with that right there. That's and I think wild. it's shallow as shit, but everybody is not the same. You know what I mean? Like some women are put here. Some women are looking for come up right because they look on social media and they're just like okay this is but that guy could be paying for everything or whatever but that guy could also be whooping for ass or doing some you know what I mean or doing other stuff where they're like okay well everything that glitter isn't gold you know what I mean I know people personally who probably are tuned into this right now who are like oh god I hope she don't pull my cards but they're miserable as hell but they're with this person who is doing X, Y, and Z for them. And they feel like they're kind of trapped and they're stuck in that situation, which is really, really unfortunate, in my opinion. Um, I'd rather be miserable by my damn self and figuring it out my day-to-day -day by myself <laughs> than right. to have somebody laying beside me and I'm just, and they're just, you know, taking up space, especially now, because I know with the, this fake ass Corona, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> I know that people are really, their relationships are really going to be tested now. So it's probably. What are you, you going to do? You on, you sit there and you can blame that man for not having nothing. And then you have even less than you by yourself. Right. How does that work? <laughs> so so um, now we SOL. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a starting point. But you know what I teach? I teach love is law, family is business. And a, a corporation is a cooperation. And a friend is one who's willing to invest in you or one you're willing to invest in. And so I wrote a book called Rich Mom, Poor Mom, as well as Finance or Fiance. And the main things that people normally look for is love, trust, security, bond, sharing. And those are all words that we find in economics. These are words we find ourselves accustomed to when we deal with real estate or even the stock market. And so when we look at the family the family is a cooperation or corporation and like i said a friend is one who's willing to invest in you or one you're willing to invest in so there's mutual reciprocity there's mutual uh benefit there and that's reciprocity and then we look at uh trust the trust is property held on behalf of one so that another may benefit so when we look at it that way we say okay uh 
what if you and I get together and we say, I right, we're a team, we're a cooperation. Let's do something together and let's get this bread. So we look at a house and we say, man, that house looks like it'll make us some money. And I say, okay, you feel like that? Let's get into an agreement because we both feel like this house is going to make us some money. We believe it's an asset. We mutually, mutually So that, that is going to be called consideration. That paperwork that says you and I saw a house that's worth something and we both feel like we can invest in it. We both can get something from that investment. That contract or agreement for you and I to embark upon that type of path together to invest is called a it's called consideration. And we rent out this property and we start making money from it. That's called appreciation. So those are two things that people want when they get in a relationship. They want consideration and they want appreciation. And then we go a step further and we say we want to protect this property because we don't want it held in probate. And so we get a trust because this property held on behalf of one so that another may benefit. So, so far, we have a contract that's called consideration. That's when we both looked at an asset, and as two different parties, we agreed that it was an asset and that it could be mutually beneficial. That contract's called appreciation. I mean, it's called consideration. And then that property that we went into contract with or about is making us money, and that's called appreciation. And then we get a trust, which is probably held on behalf of one so that another may benefit, which will probably be our children later on. We say we want our children to be the beneficiaries. So now we have consideration. We have appreciation. We have trust. And then that trust, we're going to break up, you know, uh, how, what percentage of this property do I own as far as revenue is concerned or the property itself? And so now we're also going to see who's going to be in debt to each other. Or if, if I'll say, you know what, this is my form of diary, so I'm going to give you this much percentage. So now we're talking about bonding, which is, which is a debt obligation and shares or sharing. What percentage of the property or revenue we're willing to give off? So now we have bonding, sharing, consideration, appreciation, trust, which is now going to be held in a security once we go that far, because the security is a paper certificate that attests to ownership and equity, as in the case of a stock or ownership of a bond, as in the case of a debt obligation, which has tradable derivatives. So all that means is we're going to get a QCIP, which is a Committee on Uniform Securities Identification Procedure. And what that means is all we're saying is we have a paper that's worth value. I don't have to walk around with a house in my book bag. We have a paper that confirms ownership and equity. Just like you get a car note, just like you get a mortgage, which are the papers that represent you actually own the car and what the value of the car is. Okay, so we have a paper that represents our terms of agreement. And now we find ourselves where we had bonding, sharing, appreciation, consideration, cooperation, friendship, trust. And of course, that sense of security. We got all the things that people ask for emotionally. We do that financially. And we can't move. So a lot of times people misunderstand me because I say, hey, economics is the root to sustain in these relationships. We don't want to deal with the elephant in the room that a lot of relationships are destroyed because of a lack of finance, a lack, a lack of financial forecasting, the inability for us to understand how we can add value to each other in the physical world with the world has physical obligations for us. So we can ignore it all we want and get into a intimate, psycho, spiritual, psycho, sexual relationship. We could do all of that. But when we have a problem paying the bills, suddenly people start looking at each other in resentment, like, yo, this is your fault. We was over here fucking the whole time. Money could have been made. Well, uh, you was asking me to hit it, so I was beating it. And then now you're looking at me like, where's the money? Well, I could have been making money, but I was fucking you. So this is where all the confusion comes in. People so want to act like money don't play a role, but money does play a significant role. It does. Role. Absolutely significant. Yeah. So That's right. So let's just be organized. Since money does play a role, Let's be organized the right way. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all that's all I tell people. But they look at it like, oh, you, you turn into women into you know objects and it's it's all about money. You can make money with anybody, yeah. But you know, making money with somebody that loves you and is physically attracted to you and, and, and has a safe yo know, sexual relationship with you, that's a different type of bond. And furthermore, I'm already a man that said in the gate, I want to deal with several women. So the way that that works is through economics as, as far as creating an economy around that type of relationship. 
that's what we're talking about, creating an economy. So people get it twisted. They think, oh, I'm saying in order for me to make money, I need to be with these people. I can make money by myself. That's not what it's about. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on real quick. Let me just tell this brother. Let it go. I'm, hold on real fast. <laughs> or people that's married with joint accounts? Should you have a joint account? Do you think that that's big? Yeah, we can do that. That's a separate trust. We can have a trustee. Uh, we, can, we can be co-trustees. When we go, when we do a business together, yeah, mm -hmm. I believe the uh, joint accounts go to hell when you just do it and you ain't got no business together. If you're doing business with each other, it makes sense to get a joint account. If you're not doing business with each other, then it gets probably a little tricky. You feel what I'm saying? Because if, if I meet you in a condition where you're looking to come up and you meet me and I'm in a condition where I'm looking to come up, we don't need to have no joint account. Unless we doing something together, we say this account is for our business. Why the hell are we getting access to each other's money when we both need access to money? So the hell with that. I just want to avoid any possible problems. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Because it's going to happen most times than less. Because both people found each other where they looking for money. So what the hell they want to share the little money that they looking for? It's going to look double, and that shit is tempting. <laughs> you have a situation where you have. You have your account, she has her account, and then y'all have a little whatever. I don't know. Whatever y'all put out That that that's still trash. Don't do that's a joint account. Trash. It's still trash. It's all the way trash. That's sanitation right there. Don't deal with that. <laughs> that's a fact. It's breeding grounds. What are we proving? If I got my own account, you got your own account, then we got our joint account. That's too much accounts and nobody ain't really making money anyway. What is that? If nobody ain't really making no bread, we don't really need that. And so, who need all them lights? Let me see. It look like you sitting in a ring light, like you getting makeup done. That's how my, that's how my lights be when I be getting my makeup done. <laughs> they be bright, bright. Yeah, we got all sorts. Of, we was just we was just doing some serious filming. <laughs> Yeah, you got to have all of them. They need to be able to see all of that. Oh, it's 2020. I'm, take, I'm taking it to the next level. I, my shit is photo shoot ready. We got, <laughs> we got the cameras and all sorts of stuff, man. Right. No, I get it. Yeah, but that that's what it is. Do, if you're not doing no serious business, it don't have to be serious. If you're doing any kind of business with your significant other, you should have a joint account, but it shouldn't just be a joint account. It should be your business account, and both of you are... In this particular case, I suggest the trust. I say, man, you both be co-trustees and you put the work in together. Because love is law, family is business. I'm too smart to be broken. It costs way too much to be poor. Real talk. <laughs> These, that's my motto. That was a good question, though. But like I said, playing games with them joint accounts when everybody's looking to come up is trash. It's only to go to hell. Because I ain't got access to money and then I see double in my account. It's going to get a little tricky. I'm going I'm to be thinking some of that shit mine. Or I'm going to tell you what I did with it after I done did it. It gets tricky. Then now you're looking at a nigga like he's shady. You created that opportunity. We don't need that. And I know somebody be like, yo, but it'd be cool 
to see if that's where a person at. No, it's not cool after the money's been spent and you can't pay me back. And I gotta and I gotta sleep with you exactly. at the same I can sleep with you after that. I'm feeling I'm in my feelings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sleeping with Danny. I'm your ass on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about to just give you the bread because you need it or because you want it, but I don't want you taking it, you know. We got, it's discipline. We're just looking for discipline. And I'm not saying you can't trust your significant other. But I don't know I don't know when is the best time to just play around and I put my money in the account, you put your money in the account, just do it. Mm-hmm. Without any financial clause, objective, or agenda. We just going to save the money, that's it? That's all we're going to do? That's trash. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's put it in the You're so funny. Word <laughs> up. That's what I'm <laughs> See, in Brooklyn, you know what we call that? We call that some fish market shit. Nice. You know, people like something fishy about, about we call that some fish market shit. Yeah, that's what we say in the 90s from the 90s from East New York. We say, man, that's some fish market shit right there. That's what you want. You know, and that, that's what them people was on in that live stream I just came from. That shit was all fishy. It was definitely some fish market shit. That shit, that fish had coronavirus in there too. It was, <laughs> that, that, shit, that came from the type of fish them motherfuckers be dealing with. That's what that was. My goodness. Oh my goodness. People in the chat still, still shipping back from that chat too. They must have came from YouTube over here, like, yo, it was crazy. Because <laughs> when I first was attempting to get you on, it was like five, six hundred people in there. And I swear almost every comment was, damn, them people hate you. <laughs> they <laughs> they, they <laughs> so far to double team me, triple team me, quadruple team me. Now what they doing is acting like one person's on the phone and secretly. Aha! Go get them, Dr. White. I'm like, yo. <laughs> yo, do y'all see what y'all... The lips y'all going through to just say you finally got polite to say he didn't know something. And when I told the brother an answer, he didn't even understand the answer that he's asking me a question about. And he's like, I got a fact check. <laughs> he's got that. <laughs> so I got a fact check. Give me another answer that I at least can understand. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> no, I can tell you, because these, these people here, they be wanting you to be on some real weirdo shit. And what I mean by that is, they be wanting you to really sit here and behave like since you reading and you writing and you studying a lot, they want to deal with you like you ain't on that type of time. Like they could be on that type of time with you. Mm-hmm. And it's because I got a lot of discipline. So, like, when the brother was talking all this gang, gang, bang, bang, all I'm like, yo, now why would you do that for a brother that you see? All I do is be teaching. My average post be me teaching, pictures with family teaching, one of my homegirls teaching, sister I'm court and teaching. Right. Why not teaching, teaching, teaching. So, you know, I'm not I'm doing that. I'm hanging out with one of my friends because I only got one of my friends because I only got my women because I think it's tricky if I start being around the same sex too long because I don't want no one to have a false sense of entitlement and feel like they, they should have the right to access everything that I have access to because that has happened to me so I realized it wasn't street smart I learned that in the streets I said yo I'm getting the money I'm doing my thing if I'm not going to consistently put money in my brother's pockets that's hanging out with me every day. I need not have my brothers around me. So in the streets, I was always giving my man's bread, buying them their clothes, this, that, and the third, because I'm on top of what I'm doing. I got them moving my work. And even though they moving my work, I'm still giving them money on top of it. Because that's how you got to be. Because people that sit there, and the very things they love you for be the same things they hate you they for. They hate you for, yeah. So that's why I say infatuation is infatuation. Because... The fact that you love me be the fact, be the very reason why you hate me. You want to be a teacher badly. So you look up to me, but you get to be around me. And then one day you go up to teach and people don't feel you. You know what you start doing? You start making excuses about my advantages. You don't make no assertions and accept accountability for your disadvantages. You start saying that they only like me because of this. Or they don't like me because of that. But the whole thing is you like what I do so much that when you attempt to do it, you failed at it. Now, something wrong with me instead of something being wrong with you. And, and I'm still here to support you. So now I'm like, nope, what I do, if I'm around somebody, they got their value that they add. So we got compatibility. Like right now, I, I'm talented. I'm teaching in front of cameras and everything. 
my man, he know what he know about the cameras way better than I know lightning and all this other stuff. And then we got a common teacher, Dr. Sabi. So that that's love. We gonna connect on that level, and there's a lot of value we can add. But that's more spiritual for me that he could tell me things about the master when he was around. I could tell him things about it. And then a lot of times when we be saying stuff, we could damn near complete each other's sentence because obviously we both was around Doc so long. I'm like, yo, you definitely was with Doc because you saying shit that. Only someone around him would know. He had to really feel comfortable around you for you to know that. So that's a vibe for me because that's like missing my grandfather, father, and best friend of all in one. He's the only person in life that has taken up all three of those columns in my in my world, which is another reason why I was going so hard today. So I put in my military look today because that would suppress any nigga talking activity. So at least if I got if I if I got the gun on me and 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 I'm on that time, then at least you know what the hell? Oh yeah, if I got the gun on me, if I got extra clips and all this, then I could talk my vegan shit and I can feel alright. All of this to talk my vegan shit because I swear to you, niggas be really thinking because I'm vegan, they could talk crazy. You feel me? And I know, and then I know, because the way I dress, sometimes niggas probably think I'm some skinny ass nigga. Like, my shit ain't cut. Like, I don't actually box, and I could box professionally if I chose. I'm like, yo, they don't know I, I do Krav Maga, Jiu Jitsu, boxing. That, because to be vegan for me is about dealing with it from a holistic approach. So it ain't about just eating good. It's not about just eating good. It's about, it's about associating with positive people that encourage positive things. It's about eating good. It's about drinking good. It's about clean air. It's about solar gazing. It's about reading and keep and doing mental calisthenics. It's about doing actual calisthenics. It's about doing as many things as possible that can contribute to adding value on your health. That's what holistic is. That's what being vegan means to me. It's it's a, it's about so many different things. So if I'm putting myself in a position to want to curse somebody out or use vulgarity, then I know, damn, I'm in a toxic situation. So that's why I don't talk to those guys regularly. And the one time or two I decide I'm gonna talk to these people, I'm like, nah, I can't deal with them again because they don't like. Who does that? Who? What kind of weirdo says I'm gonna call in to ask him a question, but I'm gonna secretly have someone on the other line? Like you telling me a lot about you as a grown man. Mm -hmm. where you think you're gonna sneak a professional on the phone i'm really cooking you niggas like that and then every time he they needed some assistance they needed some help (laughs) and then the people you bring on they feel dissatisfied because they they let them down because they didn't do what they wanted them to do so it's like damn we don't got to be on this nigga but let's keep talking to him until it can work in our favor no, my nigga, I'm not doing that. And I got to say, nigga, that's what I'm talking to. You know, like, really, I'm not going to do that. Stay on the line until you feel satisfied with finally talking to me about something that makes you happy. No, I'm not on there to do that. I was on there to teach and give people suggestions about things they can do to protect themselves. So I broke down uh, if a virus has a membrane that's made of lipid then we know lipid can be destroyed by alcohol or, deter- or detergent or ethanoic acid, okay, which is in uh, apple cider vinegar, vinegar in general. And we know that. So guess what? I'm like, okay, so instead of using the alcohol or products that have triclosan in it that causes the epidermis layer to lower its or lowers the barrier of the epidermis layer, thereby making the skin more permeable or opening it up, making it more permeable, and susceptible to germs, microbes, and viruses and bacteria, then perhaps we may have another alternative. Now that we know the coronavirus, it has a membrane that can be destroyed by ethanoic acid that we find inside of apple cider vinegar, then let's use that. And then what we can use also is some lemon because it's astringent. What's this the whole thing to tighten up? So, yo, do you got a reference for that? I'm like, yo, fam, it's not something that you reference when you're in that deep with the info, what you do, you give people enough resources so they can look it up. Well, I don't need no fucking reference for that. I actually deal with this information day to day. 
I'm fuck. I'm a chemist with this shit. I'm telling you, it's CH3, COOH. I'm I'm giving you the chemical formula. I'm breaking down uh, polypeptides. I'm I'm going hard for about two damn hours just teaching. You know, or, or nitrogen, carbon, carbon, nitrogen, carbon, carbon, nitrogen, carbon, carbon. I'm saying, oh, okay, you know what that is? That's hemoglobin. And the hemoglobin is a special protein that's responsible for the uptake of blood so it can be distributed throughout the bloodstream. But I'm letting you know that the alveoli's are not giving you the blood that you need for one or two reasons, either because the spinning frequency of the electrons have been compromised on the counter radiation that is ionizing or maybe non-ionizing, or <laughs> the inflammation of the lungs down through the uh, uh, bronchioles into the alveoli's is too much liquid there because it's a RNA virus, which means it has oxygen there because DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid, so it's deoxygenate. I go through this whole thing about RNA and transcription and translation and tRNA and, and mRNA, and uh, which is messenger RNA and rRNA and ribosomal RNA. I'm going through all this. I'm going through fiery hula hoops. I'm coming off of fucking helicopters with the rope. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I got the black shit under my eye. I'm, I'm, I'm in the dirt. In the military, grenades getting thrown. I'm doing all of this, and when I'm done, fuck out of here, man. You see, this is this is our people. This is our people for you. You know what I'm saying? This is our people for you. You do all of this, and then you know, Negroes get on there. It was all right. All right. You've seen somebody stand there with no textbooks and the only thing you could do is ask yo have you done the research yourself do you got the yeah yo do you have yo bro i was about to build with you if i would have got to ask a question what's a microscope or a telescope or i'm like yo i got the electron microscope i got the light microscope i got yo who you telling bro i got my petri dishes all that shit like i do this it's fun for me and i i don't do it to downplay someone's information that's why those guys are trash. Their whole purpose in life is to get on there and tell other people that their information is wrong. You must live a lonely life when you're living like that. Where Boo go, man? Where you at? Listening to you since a minor word. You already know. Talk your talk. You know that. <laughs> word. When she get on, we going to get her. But let's do this. Nah, she's in tune. She be dealing with all the knowledge. Trust me with that. Sis be like all the way on the knowledge. She don't play no games. She be in tune crazy. I don't know where her, her signal kind of took her out of there, though. Hey, who want to build about that joint that went on? Let's build. <laughs> Ooh. If you want to build, oh, there she go. <clears throat> Let's see if it works again. Yeah, it's going to work. Oh, no, nah, they're not under my skin. I'm just saying, we can, it's like, yo, to be human about it, you just got to say, yo, after you give so much to your people, I'm giving solutions. Like, look, okay, instead of that, they say, yo, like, what, what homie say, Lord Abbott? He said, the World Health Organization said, you soap. So what if someone died from what you're talking about? I'm like, damn, bro, you feel like someone's going to die because show you how to make your own hand sanitizer? <laughs> I'm not playing with you, baby. I cannot. Y'all not yeah. cut off. That was the thing. So I see a lot of little comments on here or whatever. They're like, where'd she go? Where'd she go? I got cut off. Somebody pushed through. So I, you know, I had to come back. But now I'm back. Hello. Hey. <laughs> and yes, I do know what he's talking about because I listen to him so much and I reach out to him and he's like a mentor to me um fyi so i'm seeing these comments he can't catch these because he's over here teaching us and you guys who's tuned in um haters included uh, included <laughs> <laughs> included hey yo i'm telling him i'm like yo i got to go on the line i gotta get over there the sister's waiting for me and i'm over here doing this enough is enough and then i'm honoring them and they dishonoring me and i'm telling them do you know i pushed the time back several times so i but when i see the conversation is more about tear a person down after i went out my way for everything that i taught that i don't like about what's going on in the world i parallel with well here's what you can do if this is destroying that 
This is what you could do to rebuild it. If this is destroying this, this is how you can avoid it. If this is coming at you, this is how you can block it. I don't never just do a presentation where it's just doomsday and everybody's going to die. You know, I'm not into that. Because then now, mm -hmm. when it's all over, what you going to do with yourself? If, if you listen to me for two hours in convincing fashion, how effed up life is. How you going to wake up and what you going to it on? What type of vibe is that? So for me, I'm going to give you promise, not based on faith and, and speculation. I'm going to give you some concrete facts so that way you ain't got to be so scary. Like, damn, we are going to die. Yo, they are setting up the plastic caskets and FEMA is coming after us and there is going to be martial law and they are going to force vac vaccination. I hear all of that. But when it's time for me to do a presentation, I also got to balance it out with the things that you can do. Like when I'm on there and they, we talking about 5G and all that, I'm like, yo, I downloaded a radio frequency. My man downloaded it as I said it because he just deal with it. Oh, shit, makes sense. Boom. He like, where? I showed everybody my shit. I said, look, I got a radio frequency meter on my shit, electromagnetic radiation meter on my phone that I downloaded. It's an app just so. When I'm in areas, now these guys, oh, you spooky. You saying this is a void. This is creating corona. I said, I wouldn't say create corona. And what I am saying is, if it is something that can impact us negatively, we don't need nothing else adversely impacting us because black people already are more targeted with this virus because the shit that is targeting are the things that are weak points like diabetes and respiratory problems. And we live in clusters with each other. And the reality is, that could just be a damn excuse. And it could just be systematically killing us. Whatever the fucking reason is, fact of the matter is this. If we could avoid something in the middle of this chaos, whatever this is, let's avoid it. So if I can get me a radiation meter and I can measure how much radiation I'm subject to, what's wrong with me saying, uh, I don't want to be in this area. My shit is beeping. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah, the fuck over, I'm over there. Let me go somewhere where my shit don't make noise. What's wrong with that? That's all I'm saying. Like, yo, it's just safety measures. If we got the technology and we're in the information era, why can't we use the information that we have at our disposal to our better advantage? It's like walking around here being, it's like walking around here and everybody in your house is a reading teacher and you sit here and you become illiterate. Like, how, how does that even make sense? You, got, you, you live, it's like, it's like you live not in an abandoned building. You live in an abandoned library filled with books. And somehow I was encouraged or enthused to read. Like, somebody, somebody said, what's the app called? What's that app called? <laughs> Shit. Let me... Uh, Someone said that they have the app. Let's it's an electromagnetic meter. But I want to... It's like I got to give you the color scheme because there's a couple of them damn near named the same thing. And mine's is like five stars all the way down the line. My man got ultimate. He, oh, he bought this one. He ain't playing it. He's, yeah, he bought it. He's like, yo, polite, you got to buy that shit. <laughs> yeah, so he got the ultimate. When I saw ultimate, I already said, yeah, them niggas, they charge your ass for the ultimate. But it says ultimate EMF detector pro. Yeah, this shit looks like it's efficient. Yeah. It's efficient. <laughs> I was growing insecure about my shit. Like, I shouldn't even show them this. My man just beat my shit up. <laughs> so let, let me see. Damn, I can't. Hold on. No. I'm going to let y'all know. It's an app. You dumb for relying on that. You see, this is the weird things about people. How are we? It's an app. You're dumb for relying on it. Are you aware of technology today? Do you know you can download apps? that can honestly tell you how much your heart is beating and tell you your pulse. Yes, like, what's wrong with exactly. People? I downloaded an app when I was pregnant trying to hear my baby's heart. So, I listen, it's an app for every damn thing. I, I totally believe that. For yeah. sure. <laughs> Somebody funny. So the name of the app and, uh, is everybody hearing us? Because they actually yeah, yeah, questions, yeah. but maybe I'm scrolling slow. Somebody wrote, <laughs> for like, why they call it they said, bro, polite, why they call it a cell phone? Laugh out loud. I know, right? <laughs> Stupid ass question. Yo, how you send a text message? How you use the phone? I'm like, how I use the phone? What kind of crazy ass question is this? He don't even know how to ask me. How do you use the phone? I'm like, what kind of spooky shit? What kind of, it's 2020, man. Nigga, you asking me how to use a phone? And then you get mad at me when I show you me texting you. 
pin that app. Uh, EMS detector. Yeah. It's, and it works. I don't know why people got to be so mean. Goodness gracious. It's like, you want to save the people and they be like, what the fuck you think you're doing, nigga? Keep our people out knowing. <laughs> Keep our people out to know. I hit your ass with teaching. What's the yeah, keep our like people that? ignorant. That's how it is. That's how they want it to be. How did it? So. It to break down your immune system and allow whatever virus to invade you with ease. Radiation is in phone CP right there. Yep, all that's true. Yes, we can see all your pieces. I know all that. Yeah, she's beautiful. These are facts. That's old news. <laughs> Yo, your phone is low now. Oh, really? Oh, you know what? If I had my finger under the bottom. That happens. Why that do happens. you don't care? I need to be honest. We're going to make a phone that the, the, the damn speaker is at the top of it or on the side. Like, why is it on the bottom? Nobody's going to hold the phone like this. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Word, you ain't never lie about that. Cause I'll be doing that and they'd be like, yo, we can't hear you. And I'm like, damn, I didn't, I didn't, My you know, I'll go yeah. I'll be going in. And so the worst thing, I'm one of those people that if the phone die and I don't clearly see it, then oh man, I'm so debilitated. By the time the phone ring in my ear and I realize, I'm like, yo, how long was this going on? Cause I'm still going in. Ah. And then I find out you wasn't there this whole time. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> It's just like, good night. Talk to you later. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> yeah. What's up, people? Yeah, but that's a good bill for real. You know, I, 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 I love your perspective. I definitely agree with you. You know, uh, I, I do feel men should take on the idea. Because me personally, I believe women should be stay-at-home mothers, not women. If you're a mother, I think it's more fair for the child to have the right to be there with her mother, with her child because she go through nine months of conceiving the child. Three three months perfect ovulation, nine months conception, three months inception. So the child is really one year old when it comes out the womb. Fact. You're not having a child unless you go through three perfect ovulations. That's another conversation for another time. That child is 12 months old when the child comes out that womb. But anyway, science says nine months. You never count those nine months. Right. I don't, you know, I'm thinking count everything that we yeah, can. Yeah, count. yeah, yeah. Why the baby ain't nine months? Months. Ten months when it come out. I get it. You, if you go to forty weeks, you had a ten month old baby. <laughs> it's like, yo, everyone is secretly older than they really are. <laughs> Everybody's actually a year older because, like I said, three months uh, ovulation because the woman has to go with what they call perfect ovulation that add up to her being able to conceive a child, and then the nine months conception during that gestation period. So that's 12 months. So we, whatever year you are, you just tap on a year. You may have been on Earth for that amount of time. So who you are, you got to add a year on to that. But aside from that, no, it's this is a weird planet we live on. The things that people are interested in and the things that people are interested in is, is the weirdest, you know? It's weird. It's and, crazy. Yeah, it's weird. I think we just oh, got to... Somebody said, how do they protect themselves against 5G? Someone else said, if we use a microwave, does that mean we're eating radiation when um, it heats the food up? Well, i say we get the electromagnetic meters downloaded to your phone if you ain't going to buy it. That's a start. And then avoid the areas that have the most radiation. But I can tell you, you're always safe if you're around a lot of trees. And like I said on the on the presentation, I said, add more plants to your household. Put more plants around you. Put plants around you because plants block radiation. But the only problem is sometimes the plants get killed on account of the radiation. But if you put enough plants around, mm -hmm. it, yo, signals be having problems going And through. not the fake plants, the, the real ones. Real plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because people plans. go get them fake joints and be laying them shits all around their house and be like, damn, like, <laughs> I'm still in here with a common cold or whatever's going on. So, <laughs> so the real plants, y'all, with the soil and you water it, you know, throw a couple <laughs> of them around. <laughs> Word up. I'm glad you put that in there. <laughs> so, 
That's important. That belong right there, right where you put it. <laughs> People oh, right keep DMing you tomorrow, like, you told me to go and get these damn plants. I was at Target and Walmart getting plants, and they were fake. Yeah. Like, yo, put, 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 it, put it right next to the plastic apples and plastic bananas, and then go out there and get the real food. <laughs> <No plan. laughs> what? So, because, like, when I go in this backyard here, yo, cell phone service, internet, done deal. And that's how I know. I got a powerful backyard. Because every time I want to film and show off the backyard, it's like you only got a few seconds before it cuts or I got to film it from afar so you can just see it. And I like the fact that that's like that. Because what that tells me is, you know, I got some protection. So, so being well, aware... That's good that you're speaking that because I didn't know that. And honestly, I'm almost the complete opposite. Like, I go out there and I'm like, God damn, I don't have no service. I'm moving stuff around. I'm moving my phone around. You know, like, why don't I have no service? And that's the yeah. problem. Like, we, we want the service so bad and we want everything to go super, super fast so we don't know that the stuff that they're putting out or whatever the case may be is damaging and, you know, it's harmful. Fact. But because we want it so fast, you know. Then... That's how it works. With me, you gotta, you gotta take breaks. So just like you fast... And you say I'm a I'm a let my hunger to eat subside. You gotta also take the time out to say you know what, my yearn for technology and using it, I gotta make that subside. Sometimes you just gotta fall back and just be like, man, fuck, I'm not doing that. Give give yourself a break from technology. I'm talking anything that's using any type of wireless signals. Yo, you gotta t don't go to sleep with it on. If you're gonna sleep and you don't just knock out and pass out because I know that happens. If you get a chance to say, you know what, I'm going to cut the lights off, yo, turn everything off. Turn the phone off. Put it on airplane mode at the very least. Do it what you can to limit the amount of radiation. Pull the router out. I know it's like, yo, you're not missing. You're missing the email. I've you heard see. that. Cut your Wi-Fi off at night. Like, yeah, cut it off. Cut yeah. it off. You'd be surprised. We got so used to this lifestyle. You'll feel the difference if you disconnect it and you got off the grid. Or if you add more plants in your house, especially by your window. Or, you know, anywhere where shit, then these things would come right through the window or move around. Yo, put enough plants strategically in the corners. Okay, so because that's... Gonna have me, tomorrow, I'm going to be out. Every day I do a project. So tomorrow I'm going to be out. It's going to be plants all in every damn window. And then I got a lot of windows in my house, okay? Give me like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, put the plants where it's square to compensate. And you see, like, where I'm at right here? This is circular right here. Mm -hmm. So important, because that allows the energy to move around. That's the feng shui, right? And what happens is with the squares, if you in something that's too boxy, then it causes breathing problems because the negative hydrogen eons are suspended in the corners. And, and so it's, it's an acidic environment. The, the negative hydrogen eons are not streaming uh, fluently throughout the house because there's no curvatures. So even the nice cars, the nice cars, you go in there, it almost feels like air conditioning on given days without the AC being on because of the curvatures, which you go in a, a boxy type of car and your nose gets stuffy mm -hmm. and it's so hot. And it's like, I just came out the shower. Why am I sweating? It really is all about the architecture. It's really about isosceles icosahedrons, dodecahedrons, uh, tetrahedrons. These, these, you know, when you go into the uh, plutonic solids, the five plutonic solids, they all harness a certain amount of energy. And if you don't have enough secular energy in the, uh, if you don't have enough secular uh, infrastructure, the energy can't flow the way it needs to. And in turn, it compromises your health and it builds mucus and it keeps all that the six point stars in the, sh in the form of cubes. And I know that sounds like a contradiction, but that'd be for another day. Everything is locked into the corner. All the energy you want is locked over there in the corner. And then you just out here with dead air in your own house. That's why if you look at the architectural disposition of a lot of religious structures, it's always circular. It's never just boxy. It can look like a box on the outside when you go and you look at the ceilings and everything. You see high ceilings, like this, you see very high ceilings. Hey, these curtains is huge. Like when you go at it, you you want to have enough. Uh, you want to have high ceilings because when you have that, the energy shoots up, and then if you got some curves going around, you got that energy bouncing around, 
And now it's moving all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? Then uh, it's too dark over there. But you get it. Every it's all sorts of circles and everything. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So now you got all. Now you got these circles there. So you just it's just a vibe, you know. You want to keep a vibe because now 